Hola amigos! Welcome back to Eating with Andy. Today I'm going to share with you a family favorite. It's a tres leches cake. Tres leches means three milks in Spanish. It's a vanilla sponge cake that's been soaked in, you guessed it, three different types of milk. But this recipe actually uses four milks. It's my nona's little addition. So let's get started. Start by preheating your oven to 160 degrees fan forced and by greasing a 22.5 by 33 centimeter baking pan. Now let's start working on our sponge cake. We're gonna sift one cup of self-raising flour into a bowl. Set that aside for later. Now we're gonna separate six room temperature eggs and I'm gonna put the egg whites into my mixer bowl. The egg whites are in my mixer bowl. I'm gonna beat them on high speed until soft peaks form. The whipped egg whites will make this cake extra light and spongy. Turn the mixer down to medium speed and slowly add one cup of caster sugar and the egg yolks one by one. Mix until it's all combined. Remove the bowl and use a large metal spoon to fold in the flour in three batches into smooth. We want to gently fold because we want to keep as much of the air in the mixture as possible. Once you've gently folded through the flour, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix until it's all combined. Pour the batter into the prepared baking pan. The batter won't even come halfway up the baking pan. That's okay this cake will rise quite a bit in the oven. I'm gonna bake this for around 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. While our cake is baking, let's work on our milk mixture. In a bowl, add one can of condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, one cup of thickened cream, and one cup of full cream milk. Mix well to make sure all the creams are incorporated. Our cake has been cooking for 30 minutes. It's done. Let's take it out of the oven. Oh, look how much it's risen. This is perfect. Using a fork, poke holes all over the cake. Now let's pour the milks over the top while the cake is still hot to maximize absorption. Do this 
slowly and make sure you pull all over the edges too. Now that we've got all the milk poured all over the cake, we're gonna place it in the fridge for a couple of hours. This dessert is nicer the colder it's served. You can chill it for a couple of hours in the fridge, but I prefer for it to be chilled overnight. That way all the flavors get to really come together. Our cake has been in the fridge for several hours, so the last step is to make the whipped cream topping. We're gonna whisk two cups of very cold thickened cream with three tablespoons of icing sugar and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix on high speed until fluffy. I've got the cake out of the fridge. Our last step is to put our whipped cream topping all over the top and finish with a sprinkle of cinnamon. That's it, how simple was that to make? I eat it as it is, but you can serve it with some strawberries or any fruit that has a bit of acidity to it. Now, let's give it a try. such a light cake, it's so soft, it's pillow in texture, and all those milks have soaked up into every single air bubble in that cake. It just melts in your mouth and it's not too sweet. Delicious. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and give it a try. It's so easy and so delicious. Please let me know below in the comments what you think. Adios amigos.